Assignment is another very popular and fairly easy to set up activity in Moodle, evaluation activity in Moodle. So we've got the turn the editing button on and we add assignment as an activity from the menu. Now we've got four options, advanced uploading of files literally means that we can upload more than one file. Online text simply means that assignment literally is what it is. It's an online text that the kids submit or students submit or whether we want to upload a single file, in most cases that is enough, or whether we just want to give instructions and uh, to uh, for assignment to be in a completely offline activity. We'll start with the advanced uploading of files. We give the assignment a name and a short description, um, in this case, uh, what the uh, students will need to do. Then we get on to settings. We can, spice, we can specify what we want to grade online using different scales, percentages, whichever is that we want. We can specify the date the assignment is open and whether we um, prevent late submissions or not. The file size might be an issue depending on your bandwidth and storage facilities, so you can change it right here. In our this little test portfolio, uh, we have three files, but you can spec you can have up to 20 files uploaded as part of a single advanced uploading of files assignment. Notes are actually quite useful for a little quick conversation between the teacher and the student. So I would generally allow them, but uh, of course the choice is absolutely yours. If you don't want students to see um, certain details of the assignment before the submission date, you can specify no, yes, and you can specify whether you want to receive um, alerts via email to what um, uh, students have submitted, but I warn against clogging your inbox. It's happened to me. You can specify um, the types of groups as per the entire site or the entire course, I should say, explained elsewhere. And are we ready? Once we've set up the body assignment, we're ready to save changes and display it. We get to see the description of the assignment, the name of it, the availability date, and as we can see, there will be no file submitted yet. Um, here's a teacher, we can see that. So let's upload a file. We simply pick it up and browse. And it's a bit like attaching a file to an email. Uh, we select the file, we open it. You can see the path where the file is. Sorry about that. And we upload the file. Since we specify we can delete it, we have the delete option right here. Once we've uh, uploaded the file, we can send it, send it for marking. And the assignment will show in the total scores. We have a warning. And this is kind of the final stage of sending an assignment, depending again on your settings. So let's say we want to continue yes. And we get a confirmation message. Now I'll show you an example of actually from my class where we had the um, students actually submitted some of the assignments. So let's click on the, um, as the notice says, we got 20 of them submitted. And we can very quickly see who are the students, is the name of the file, and when was it submitted. If not sure, we can in fact search for the student using first name surname and as we scroll down we see when exactly did they submit it what were the and these are all openable files we can we can then look at and comment on as you can see these are different types as well there's an excel pdf a word document all sorts of things now this is a standard view if we allow quick grading the view becomes slightly different and in fact, it becomes a little bit easier to comment to students. We can simply type in the comment in the field here and assign a grade if we have specified so in the body of the assignment. We can see who's, was, when was it last modified by the teacher and what do we want to grade the effort. 
and type in perhaps additional feedback, attach a response file to a student and upload it for a student to see um, our feedback. I would really recommend that you have a bit of a play with yourself like many other things in Moodle, but it's really not that complex. I would encourage you to do so. Okay, back to our different types of assignments. This one, we're going to um, create an online text assignment. Let's say this is a report in geography, and we simply want them to reflect and report on their trip to the zoo. Once again, we have some of the um, options here, whether we want the grades, uh, dates available, submissions, late no, whether we whether students can resubmit it or not, whether received by email. And this is a handy feature, it's common in line. And what it simply means, as the little help window suggests, um, the submission will be actually copied in the feedback comment field and which makes it then easier to comment in line using a different color. So it's quite a um, useful feature and not dissimilar to a lot of um, word processing features, um, the features of a, of, of a standard word processor. Again, group modes as determined by the entire course perhaps or the site. And we save changes and display. We got the description, the availability dates, and we can we haven't submitted anything yet, the states, and we can simply add the submission in here. And you can imagine um, a student typing in their submission or report about the zoo. And simply then uh, when finished, saving changes, and a teacher receives the changes and views the assignments received, much like the uploaded files, except this time is an online text. Because we specified that students can edit submissions, they can do so and perhaps improve on their comments. Okay, the last type of assignment we're gonna look at is the upload a single file which is identical to advanced uploading of files, except this time the option is the students get to upload one single file and all other options remain exactly the same as we looked at earlier uh, with the advanced uploading of files. And once again, a little bit of moodling and playing with it before you release into students will go great, great length towards having a very, very successful and very, very efficient way of collecting assignments from students. And that's all.